This is gonna be a long one, so buckle up. I know, I could have been born as a phytoplankton 400,000 years ago and my existence would have just been a blink of the eye. Or I could have been born a slave on New Year's Day being traded. Or a African American rubbing down bodies in hot springs in the 20s and 30s. But no, I got this, I got here, I got now. My struggle is where do I be free? Where can I go, honestly, to escape the shackles of oppression this society faces, that I face? that we face. It's hard to put this into context without giving an example of just one day in my life. The thing, the unsightly things that I see. That I wake up and this is my last few days in this motel, I'm out Sunday. My landlord who brags to me about her belief in God and how she got in a car accident and almost died and now she believes in God, gives me a $20 Christmas present and then guilts me on that and says, oh, I gave you $20 as a Christmas gift, so so now you have to pay more for your stay here. And just nickel and diming me on everything. It's like Jesus didn't come here to make us rich or nickel and dime us. Like all this pride and gluttony, like the, this that kind of shit from people, relig religious people who save this thing but completely live in not in, in accordance to what they're saying. That shit is one level to this as I've covered before, but nearly everyone in my life my ch ha has turned their back on me. My childhood, childhood best friend, who's an only child, worst kind of people who are like, all for me, all for me, none for you, when I was in a dire straits situation, wouldn't even like give me like a roof to stay, like a place to stay when I was in a really bad place, betrayed me. My dad wouldn't even want to see me because he wanted to remodel his bathroom. My mom didn't want to see me because she had another man in her life who since then she's divorced. My own brother wouldn't, didn't even want to see me before this whole fi financial pandemic, before the pandemic, before the worst health care crisis in our lifetime. My own blood brother wouldn't even want to see me in the flesh. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the facts. Like These are the parameters I'm working with. It's just a fucking disgusting pathetic group of people that this this society makes that it, that it makes it all for ourselves like my brother is so fucked with financial debt like all he can do is just like post little emojis and graphics that he do does online that are like bubblegum graphics and like get a bunch of likes he's a fucking covert narcissist like he never shows his full image like everything's a front he lives in a fantasy land do I care that I'm saying all this right now? No, because it was one out of nine, 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 nine fucking million thousand chance that I was even born, that I even came out into this existence. So I don't care anymore. I don't care what I'm saying. This isn't fucking right. The way people, like, the way we act and how we just, like, it's not right. And so the question... I arrive to throughout my day as I wake up and try to get cheated out by my landlord who I'm leaving on Sunday at this motel and I see an investment opportunity that I can't even invest in because I don't have any more money because I'm making the best amount of money I can because of this crippled economy so I can't even participate in an investment Scenario that would benefit my future and advance my financial security. I'm being held back. And then I go and deliver fast food to a trailer park with Confederate flags planted all throughout it. Even though we just had like one of the worst, you know, sieges from a far right Confederate related mob of people. And then from there, I go and see four other homeless people on the way to pick up another order where I see a boomer get out of a Mercedes, a brand new Mercedes. You know, it's just like it's this hyper individualism, like hyper individualism, like all for myself, all for myself, fuck everyone else. It's a disgusting culture. Everything is corrupted. Everything is fucking corrupted. Like this is a failed society. I can't tell you how many, when I was doing Uber and Lyft in Dallas, how many medical professional professionals of 
high stature who had the credentials bragged about their place. Like, we've gotten to that place now where it's no longer about the fact that you are actually helping people. That is a set quarter of it. But mostly it's how much money you're making, profit, profiting off of helping people. So that's been corrupted. Our financial industry has been corrupted. It feels like everywhere I turn, familial, uh, society, financially, everything is fucked. There's homeless people everywhere. How does this exist? How does one not go throughout their day and see and feel all the things that I do and not live in a complete fucking bubble? Like, they're so fucked out. That's why so many people are addicted to drugs. Like, the only escape is suicide. But I refuse to believe in that. I'm a warrior. I refuse to go down that route and just say that death is the only escape from this just monstrosity that we are creating for ourselves, that, that we've that we have even elected. Again, the amount of homelessness, the inequality, I thought I would escape it leaving the big city. Like, it still exists here. It still exists everywhere. But not to such a great extreme, but it's still here. And, again, aliens must be laughing at us. So I, I, I just get confronted with all these things, and I'm like, Okay, well then, what's the fucking solution? How do I escape this? Like, I was watching this document. Well, let me tell you about a dream. I still have a sense of connection. I had this dream. I was in this, like, leave. I left, like, Texas to, like, this desert land. And I was, like, kind of camping. And I met this girl and her friend. And I remember, like, I could feel her face against... Like, all I wanted to do was put my face against her face. And say, like, that's, all, that's where I, I just wanted to be. I wanted to be right there. Like, I haven't hugged anybody in a year or longer. You know, and I have, that, I want that sense of connection again. And I can't even get it in the society where everyone's like, fuck you and out for themselves. Everywhere I look, just demented. My own family, best childhood friends. It's horrendous. It goes without saying. And it's a, it's a result of this of oppressive society, oppressive like economy where like you can't even get out ahead. It feels just hopeless. And so I'm at this point now, it's like, where can I be free? Where can I be free of this suffering of other people, of fucking this corporate ugly arc dominated society where everything is corrupted? Literally everything is corrupted. Where can I be free? Where can I be free of this shit? Well, it's inside, like the freedom is inside. Oh, it's God. Okay, here's God. I don't feel any better. That doesn't, that doesn't fucking coax the situation. And in fact, in Buddhism, it's like you want to not be rebirthed. You want to not continue on this hell, this suffering. Versus Christianity where you, this is hell and then you go to heaven. And Buddhism, it's like, this is hell and you end the hell. And so like, I just want that sense of connection. I want a group. And I was watching this documentary, it was like, about these blood warriors, it's called Blood Warriors, National Geographic. You, you can watch it. And it's like this small, like, they've been doing this for thousands of years in Africa. And they, like, drink cow's blood. And they, like, they, the animals are, the cow and the goat are, like, super, are, like, icon, you know, they, they depend on them for everything. And they have, like, they have, like, a hierarchical system where it's, like, the warriors, the children, the elderly, like the women, the women stay back. The warrior men, like my age, would go out and like carry the cattle across town. Like they have an order their, to their system and it's been working for thousands of years and they're all smiling, happy, like hugging each other. It's like, God damn it. Yeah, things like they don't go to the supermarket and buy a fucking onion. Like they live like that and they're happy and they have a community. And so it's like when everything's done you wrong here, it's like, I don't even want this fucking fast food lifestyle. I don't want this, like, oh, you don't take for granted all the luxuries you have. I don't want any of these fucking luxuries if this is how it's going to be. If you're going to corrupt people's fucking souls and everything in society, I don't want it then. You can take it back. I will gladly go pick grass and drink goat's milk as long as I have some people to fucking hug and talk to without being cheated on. Okay, so where do I go to be free? I was looking at Bhutan, you know, they have a happiness index instead of a GDP. That sounds interesting. Maybe I could sell everything and just move there. I mean, I'm going to move into this house and pay, you know, a very much affordable rent. 
but I'm at this cross. I can go either way. I can go either way at this point. Like, either I go and just like be like the six, four or six homeless people I saw today, and just wing it and and live on the road and in a cave like that video I posted, or or actually three choices: go to Bhutan and like reorganize my life, learn a new language, and like find a community there go straight up nomad or like sell everything and like do it all to try to co commit to some purpose and, and realization in my life, like some meaningful purpose with uh, advancing telecommunications in space so that we get the fuck off this planet that we're destroying. Because you look at it realistically and we're rising by 0.2 to 0.3 Celsius per decade and it's going faster at exponential growth. But let's say we just kept it at 0.2 to 0.3 and we're at 1.1, 1.3 degrees Celsius right now depending on the way you look at it. Then by the time I'm 60 and saw that lady coming out of a Mercedes going to a liquor store, like whatever. I was like, Jesus didn't come to make us rich, you fucking hedonistic bitch. Like by the time I'm 30 years from now, like this is all fucking gone. It's ruined. I don't have any of that shit. So, like, these are some tough choices. It's like, and I'm being forced. It's like, what do I do? Oh, uh, you know, I'm not going to fall into extortion. Like, another incident to my day was seeing this pretty woman that I, I actually really like. I found out she was married today, but I kept telling her to quit. She was at Walmart doing the food picking, and I'm, I'm like, just quit, just quit. And she's like, like, this place is ripping you off. I was telling her that. And she's like, yeah, but, like, I have a mortgage. And it's like, do you have kids? And she's, I actually asked, do you have kids? And she's, yeah, I have two kids uh, and a mortgage and a car payment. And it's like, I was like, that's called extortion. Like, you're being fucked. So it's like, slave, you know, get fucked by society. Like, there's no fucking route out of this. Where can I go to be free? Where can I go to truly be free? Is it inside? It's inside, right? It's mentally. I just smoke up, just keep smoking and numb myself. Where's the opportunity? Where's the love? Where's the compassion and fucking Where is some where can I find something that is not corrupted? Where does that exist in this world? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.